Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. Thank you so much for being a viewer. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I want you to know that I really care for you and you are greatly appreciated. This channel, the Ignition Time channel, is about the country, it's about the economy and it's about your money. I'm going to talk to you about what President-elect Biden just said in the state of Georgia about the $2,000 stimulus checks and I'm going to be completely honest with you. I think we need to have measured expectations. Now, the reason I say that we need to have measured expectations is because what happens as far as a third stimulus, what happens as far as $2,000 stimulus checks are concerned, entirely depends on what happens in Georgia. Because if the Democrats regain control of the Senate in Georgia, then yes, we could see $2,000 stimulus checks. But if even one of those seats goes to a Republican, and by the way, I believe that either both the seats will remain Republican or both the seats will go Democrat based on the political division in our country. I don't think that for voters, this is a choice of, uh, you know, um, one candidate versus another. For voters, this is a choice about the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. This is my opinion. We'll wait and see what happens. But if both the seats go towards the Republicans or even if one of the seats goes towards the Republicans, which like I mentioned is less likely, then we are likely to see uh, we are likely to see a, a block, if you will, on the $2,000 stimulus check. So I want our viewers and subscribers to have measured expectations. Now, I also want to be clear that President like Biden does support $2,000 stimulus checks. On your screen, you'll see a tweet from Lan Q. Mui, who works for CNBC. And she said, and she quoted President like Biden in Georgia, who said, electing Democrats will put an end to the block on the $2,000 stimulus checks. That money will go out the door immediately. So President like Biden is saying that the $2,000 stimulus checks will go out the door immediately. But again, I want our viewers and subscribers to have measured expectations. And, uh, and you'll see this response from Jake Sherman, who says, depends on your definition of immediately. Immediately could mean several months or could mean never if the Republicans retain control of the Senate. Here's another tweet on your screen from Greg Sargent. And this was retweeted by John Bresnahan, who works uh, side by side with Jake. And the Biden team is uh, basically saying that a whole of government effort will be put in to fix the vaccine rollout. Keep in mind, the distribution of the vaccine has left a few things to be desired. And this could include the Defense Production Act for distribution, maybe including other parts of the military, maybe including individuals who are part of our armed forces to distribute the vaccine. Uh, mobile units, including rural areas, a lot more spending. And that is something that the Biden team has said that they would do. And I have done other videos talking in detail about what's at stake in the Georgia Senate runoff races. Also, the upcoming election certification challenge that's going to be mounted by Ted Cruz, the Republican from Texas, and Josh Hawley, the Republican from Missouri. I've talked about the implications of that as well and what we can hope to expect. So let's hear from President like Biden and see what he had to say as he campaigns in Georgia today. Now, I personally think one of the things that's going to be extremely interesting is going to be the contrast between what President like Biden is saying, and you'll actually see him right now. He said some super important things, including comments about the $2,000 stimulus check, which I'll get to. I think the contrast between what President like Biden says and what President Trump says in his Georgia rally tonight is going to be very, very telling. I know there's going to be a huge contrast because there's a big difference in priorities. Some of the concerns amongst the Republicans is that the president tonight at his rally in Georgia will make it about himself as opposed to the candidates. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But again, the contrast between the two, the contrast between President-elect Biden and his ability to get more Democrats to vote in Georgia and President Trump and his ability to get more Republicans to vote in Georgia, I believe is going to be the fundamental difference in the outcome of the Georgia Senate runoff races. Because at the end of the day, this is unfortunately about blue versus red. I personally think it should be about what's best for the country. I've mentioned this before on my channel. For me, it's not about the red or the blue. It's about the red, white, and blue. I'm not Democrat. I'm not Republican. I'm American first. We are all Americans first. So let's take a look at the first segment with President-elect Biden today in Georgia, where he campaigns for the Democrats in Georgia. Now, keep in mind, this is a political speech. Now, keep in mind, this is a political speech where the president-elect is campaigning for Democrats in Georgia. But it's very interesting, again, to hear what the president-elect says and also what we are about to find out soon, the significant contrast between him and between the things that President 
Trump says. So let's roll the first segment and take a look at what President-elect Biden said about the importance of voting for Democrats in Georgia in his own words. Let's roll the tape. They're qualified, they're decent, they're honorable, they mean what they say, and they believe what I believe the definition of America is. It's about possibilities, unlike any other nation in the world. Anything's possible. They're bending the arc of history toward justice and hope and progress. And that's not hyperbole, that's real. Folks, this is it. This is it. It's a new year. And tomorrow can be a new day for Atlanta, for Georgia, and for America. First, let me start by saying thank you for electing me and Kamala as President and Vice President of the United States. You voted in record numbers in November. Your voices were heard. Your votes were counted. The will of the people prevailed. We won three times here. <laughs> Each recount, you know what I mean? I think we should count it as three states. One, three times. And now we need you to vote again in record numbers to make your verses, your voices heard again and again to change Georgia, to change America again. And this is not an exaggeration. Georgia. The whole nation is looking to you to lead us forward, for real. You know it. You cannot turn on any national television show without knowing about what's going on here and what you all are doing. The power, the power is literally in your hands. Unlike any time in my career, one state, one state can chart the course, not just for the next four years, but for the next generation. By electing John and the Reverend, you can make an immediate difference in your own lives. In the second segment, the President-elect says something very important as far as the $2,000 stimulus checks are concerned. He said that voting for the Democrats and then making sure that the Democrats regain control of the Senate will remove the block on the $2,000 stimulus checks. Listen closely to what he says. He says it will remove the block on the $2,000 stimulus checks. And he said the $2,000 will go out the door immediately when the Democrats are re-elected. Now, keep in mind, immediately in politics doesn't really mean immediately, but uh, it's clear that the priority for the Biden administration is a $2,000 stimulus check, as it has been for President Trump. But this is less about what the president wants, and this is more about what happens to the control of the United States Senate. President-elect Biden also made some comments about understanding the, you know, what is what is impacting most Americans. For most of us, it's about putting food on the table. It's about keeping the lights on. It's about trying to make rent. Let's hear comments from President-elect Biden about the $2,000 stimulus check and future stimulus and how it ties in to the control of the United States Senate. Let's roll the tape. The lives of the people all across this country because their election will put an end to the block in Washington, that $2,000 stimulus check, that money that will go out the door immediately, tell people who are in real trouble. Think about what it'll mean to your lives. Putting food on the table, paying rent, paying for your mortgage, paying down the credit card, paying the phone bill, the gas bill, the electric bill. Just look around. Millions of people in this country out of work through no fault of their own. No fault of their own. They're struggling. Many are fearful. And many have given up hope. Look at the lines at food banks. Hours and hours and hours. This is the United States of America, for God's sake. And there's food lines like we've not seen since the Depression. And they're getting longer. Families, children, people have worked their whole lives and never asked for a thing except a fighting chance. Now, they're lining up for food in America. And the debate over $2,000 isn't some abstract debate in Washington. It's about real lives, your lives, the lives of good, hardworking Americans. And if you're like millions of Americans all across this country, you need the money, you need the help, and you need it now. Look, 
Georgia, there's no one in America with more power to make that happen than you, the citizens of Atlanta, the citizens of Georgia. And that's not an exaggeration. That is a literal, that's literally true. If you send John and the Reverend to Washington, those $2,000 checks will go out the door, restoring hope and decency and honor for so many people who are struggling right now. And if you send Senators Purdue and Loeffler back to Washington, those checks will never get there. It's just that simple. The power is literally in your hands. By electing John and the Reverend, you can break the gridlock that has gripped Washington and this nation. With their votes in the Senate, we'll be able to make the progress we need to make on jobs, on health care, on justice, on the environment, and so many important things. By electing John and the Reverend, you'll be voting to get the states the resources they need to get the vaccines distributed. It's a shame what's happening now. It's a literal shame. I've said it before, <laughs> getting America vaccinated will be one of the most difficult operational challenges this nation has ever faced. But we've known it for the last months. This administration has gotten off to a god-awful start. The president spends more time whining and complaining than doing something about the problem. And in the third segment, President-elect Biden kind of takes a shot at the Republican candidates, Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue. And he said that they work for the president more so than they work for the people of Georgia. He said their loyalty is with the president. Pretty incredible comments. He also said, he also starts by saying, I'm not sure why the president wants to, you know, wants the position because he doesn't want to do the job. These are some of the most direct comments yet from President-elect Biden as we get closer to the certification of President-elect Biden's victory and the, and the formal inauguration. Now, keep in mind what President Trump does tonight in Georgia may or may not help them. Now, keep in mind what President Trump says tonight in Georgia has the potential to help the Republicans in Georgia. But let's see what President Trump says. It is uh, President Trump is certainly very unpredictable. We're starting to see a shift in the focus uh, from President-elect Biden more towards managing the crisis that we have more towards taking control and more towards helping the Democrats regain control of the Senate. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. We'll also include a link to our resources in the description section below. I don't know why he still wants the job. He doesn't want to do the work. Look, the states need help. There's a reason why the Constitution said the federal government could have a deficit spending in times of crisis, and states have to balance their budgets. It's for this very thing. It's the whole idea. Your states have to balance your budgets. So what's happening? You're going to see more and more people laid off, more firefighters, police officers, school teachers, first responders, the people we need badly now. The states need more money to do the job. They need the federal government to work with them not attack them and leave them out there hanging. It's going to be tough to get this done. We have to do it. People's lives literally depend on it. Our economy depends on it. And we'll get it done by electing John and the Reverend to be voting to get their state and local government funding and the money they need to keep cops, firefighters, teachers, local responders, keep them on the job, protecting you and looking out for your children. Look. States have been struggling through this pandemic. They need help. By electing John and the Reverend, you'll be sending a powerful message to Congress and to the country that it's time for this nation, for God's sake, to finally come together, finally, to work together, to unite, to put the anger and the division and the divisive politics of the past behind us. And here's one more thing. Voting for John and the Reverend won't just be good for America. It'll be good for Georgia, and here's why. When you vote for John and Raphael, you'll be sending two senators who will fight for you, who put Georgia first, who put you first. You don't have that now. You have two senators who think it's more important to reward wealth than hard work in the tax system. You have two senators now who think 
They don't work for you. They work for Trump. I mean, think about it. You have two senators who think their loyalty is to Trump, not to Georgia. You have two senators who think they've sworn an oath to Donald Trump, not to the United States Constitution. But <laughs> let me tell you something. I got elected when I was 29 years old and six more times the United States Senate from Delaware. And guess what? Not once did I think I took an oath to any president, Democrat, or Republican. I took an oath to the United States Constitution. And as president, I don't believe your United States senators are going to work for me. They work for the people of Georgia. That's why I'm not asking your senators to be loyal to me. I believe they should be loyal to you, to Georgia, the United States Constitution, period. And if you vote for John or the Reverend, that's what you're going to get. Decent, honorable men. They won't put a president or party first, and they sure won't put themselves first. They know public service is about you. It isn't about them. It's not about enriching themselves. It's about making people's lives better, about giving people a chance, just an even shot, no guarantee, but an even shot. It's time to start rewarding work and not wealth. And if you listen to John and the Reverend, that's what they've been saying. That's what they've been campaigning on. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda. I really, really, really appreciate you. I work hard on this channel to bring you the latest news, to bring you the most current news, and to bring you news that's going to help you understand the way the country works, the way the economy is changing, and most importantly, how it impacts your money. Again, my name is Dr. Nitin Choda. This right here is some information about me. Click on that little uh, exclamation mark on the top right hand side of the video so you can learn a little bit more about who I am, what my journey has been like and why you should listen to me. I want us to be calm. I want us to be peaceful. I know the $600 that we've got isn't making any of us celebrate, right? See, I don't think you're celebrating for $600, but let's be clear. What's happening in the country is important for us to understand because I think things are changing in real time. We are in a very fluid political environment. We are in a very fluid economy and I want to help you make sense of it. Remember, we release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week. That's 2 p.m. If you want to get on our SMS alerts list, simply get your cell phone out, send a text message with the word ignition or the word time. Send that in a text message to the number 70000 and you'll get added to our SMS alerts list moving forward. You can also get added to our email list. Simply go to ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts. That's ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts and you'll get added to our email list going forward. You can opt out of the SMS list or the email list at any point in time going forward. Uh, stay in touch with us by getting on our SMS or email list. Now, you can also follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. You can also follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is also ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. So make sure you follow us on Twitter. Now, YouTube does not always send out notifications on time. So all you need to do is simply bookmark youtube.com forward slash ignition time. That's youtube.com forward slash ignition time. And then you'll be able to visit the home page of our channel. And then you'll be able to check out our videos at any point in time that you want. We have many, many playlists on our channel. We have a playlist on politics. We have a playlist on announcements from the administration. We have a playlist on economic recovery alerts. We have a playlist on stimulus proposals, a playlist on unemployment benefits, a playlist on financial freedom and also managing your money, not to mention new career opportunities. So make sure you check out all of those playlists because there's a wealth of information available to you on the Ignition Time channel. Now, one thing we always do is that we include the link to all of our resources in the description section below. So check out the description section below to get a link to all of our resources. If you learn something new from our video, please comment below, participate and engage with our community. And also keep in mind that all I ask from you is you please click the like button, please ignite the like button please ignite the subscribe button because the name of our channel is ignition time a like from you would mean a lot to me i would really appreciate it i'll i'll show you <laughs> i'll dance again if i have to just so that i can earn that like there you go
I'll dance if I have to earn the like. All I ask is that you please click the like button. I would greatly appreciate that. Also, please share this video with just two friends or family members. Two friends or family members, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time.